Hello and welcome to Book Talk. Today I will be talking about just Book Two, Spirit Animals, or Spirit Animals Book Two Hundred. Author is Ma Maggie Stepfader, and the genre is fiction. The main characters are Connor, Abeka, Roland, and Milan. And the setting that I'm going to be reading part of the book is in Green Haven Castle. A foreign evil has arisen, and the four chosen ones have to stop it. it. Is basically the problem in all of the series. The four children who summon the four fallen are going to Glengavin to find the talisman of the great boar Rumpus. What happened before? What happened after? Why don't you read the whole adventure now? I'll be reading uh, pages uh, 12 to 14 uh, so that you can get a glimpse of what uh, Spirit Animals is like. And I'm on the wrong page. The training room was the second largest room in Greenhaven Castle. It was bright and inviting and had a dazzling, uh, dazzlingly tall peak ceiling for the high flying spirit animals. One end of the room was devoted to weapons storage. Spears, maces, slingshots, anything you might hope to find so long as you leave a mark. Stained day glass windows lined the walls, each one featuring a different great beast. As she stepped in, Abeka was uncomfortably aware of the suspicious eyes on her. Roland, the scruffy orphan who had summoned Essex the Falcon, frowned at her. Milan, standing near the panda G, kept her striking face intentionally expressionless. Only Connor, the blonde boy with pale skin who had summoned it, Brigand the Wolf, offed her faint smile in Abeka's direction. Tariq the Green Cloak, who was in charge of their training and their features, in front of a folded fabric screen. His weathered lean face was only a little lighter than Abeka's. Right now we're perplexed to frown. Abeka, did you hear the training bell? There is no point blaming it on Urza. She knew what Terry could say. We're going to have to learn to work with Urza in far more diff difficult situations than our hallways. And she didn't want to give the others more reasons not to trust her. Abeka said, I'm sorry, I felt lost. She hurriedly released Urza from her arm. Lost? Milena rolled her eyes. She turned to Tariq. Now can you start? Every minute we stand here doing nothing, a city in Zong falls to the conquerors. That's a lot of cities, Roland interjected. Do you mean eleven cities have fallen while we've stood here? How do you think of how do you think fell during breakfast? That was nearly twenty minutes. How Roland, that is no joking matter, Tariq said. And Milena is right. Time is precious, but I think you two will be more efficient if we train together. Today you'll engage in hand-to-hand -hand combat with other green cloaks. Milan smirked, certain of her abilities. I got dibs on the maze, Roland said, and the brass knuckles. Not so fast, Tariq said. As he spoke, four of the green cloaks entered the room. Though the spirit animals were in passive form, the four newcomers held their arms in such a way to display their tattoos to the four kids. Like the green cloaks weren't introducing the animals, even though they weren't physically present. There was a llama, a fruit bat, a fruit bat, a lemur, and a lion. Tariq continued, you won't always have access to weapons. In fact, an attack will uh, more often come when you're not ready, while you're sleeping or eating. So you won't be using those weapons. He pulled aside the folded screen behind him. The wall behind it was hung with frying pans, broomsticks, plates, pillows, and other ordinary objects. That will uh, be all that I will uh, share with you. And I would give this uh, book a five-star rating. And even though in this series may not be interesting to you, it sure is interesting to me, and it's gone deeply into my heart. So I suggest you at least give it a try. Mm.